Hello, uh, back again with another little update on Wi-Fi. Uh, there was a, an interesting tweet that went out uh, in the week where someone had demonstrated loading games, I think it was on a Mister, using an Arduino and a um, like NSC card reader. Um, and it's been something I've been looking at for a while, other, other uses for the, for the NSC, and I think it was quite smart the way he'd done it. Um, he bought a load of security cards and he just he'd read the serial number off them uh, which I guess is what you use if you're using them as security cards um, to get into building controls or whatever and he'd registered those against a bunch of ROM names in a script that was communicated to via the Arduino into the MISTER um, over, over a serial connection essentially uh, pretty smart, very clever uh, now, I, now I'm doing a similar thing obviously for the the card reader emulator, while I'm actually storing the card data on the cards, I'm actually writing to the cards rather than just just using the um, the reference the reference serials that come on them uh, as default. So I thought, well, what could I do? Well, um, in a similar kind of vein, um, and what I've come up with is an NFC game write feature. So I suppose what what it gives you is kind of a similar kind of functionality to a CF card reader. So if you're not um, if you've got a netboot setup, but you're not, it's a bit annoying having to use a little LCD screen or go into a uh, a web page or whatever to actually manually launch the game. Why not attach one of these uh, NFC card readers and just use these cards? So he printed the cards as as the, as the guy did um, online. Had some really nice like printed labels and stuff on them for the all different game names, uh, and then he would just swipe them on the reader, and they boot the game. Uh, but of course, his has got a bit of extra setup in that you've got to register the serial numbers or whatever. So, um, so I've, written, I've, I've written a little um, function in YPI where you can just write the write the chosen games onto the card. So this one here I've already prepared is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So the way it works is bring up the little debug screen so you can see it if you're interested. Uh, basically, you don't need to go into the web interface at all. You just need to switch it on, get to the checking network screen, get your card. Pop it on the reader, and then you see there it'll read it in. It should say, uh, "There we go, Marvel's Capcom 2." And then, oop, there we go, missed it. But yeah, it just boots the game. Uh, now with Wi-Fi, it's got the added, the added, other bits built in, like the time hack and the OpenJBS and all the rest of it. So that's already, already built in, and that, that those are all activated whenever you launch, launch the game. And that's it. It'll just, it'll just net boot that game now. But say so you can take your card off the reader, it's, it's just a swipe, so you could hide the reader somewhere in the machine uh, and then just you know, swipe on the, con on the control panel maybe, on an area on the control panel, or behind the plastics, or behind the door, or whatever, uh, wherever you can really. Uh, and I'll just, oh, what I'll do, oh, yeah, there you go, so it's, that's just successfully booted the game and that'll just, that'll just be as normal now. Uh, so, uh, what could bit can I show you there? So, if you want to change it, you go into Setup, NFC Game Rights, and then it just it just gives you all the games on a, on a drop down. Basically, you just choose the game that you want. So, say you wanted to uh, play some, I don't know, Kuru Kuru Chameleon. It's a nice little game. So, just click on Right to NFC. You get your card, plonk it on. Text the card type. It'll wipe the card first. There you go. And game right successful. So that is now. That is now running Kuru Kuru Chameleon, and we can test that in a second. So we turn down to the game, right there we go. Uh, so I'll take that card. Oh, there you go, it's finished running Marvel's Capcom 2. So now I want to change, I want to play some Kuru Kuru Chameleon, which is quite an excellent little Japanese puzzle game. So I'm going to swipe that. And that should. There we go. Net boot another game. So you could like print out, I suppose, print out cards for all your favourites and have them in a little folder or something. Um, probably quite good for kids as well, not having to mess around or uh, even use it in an arcade, I suppose. And uh, just print the print the cards up, and and then if if anybody wants to change the game on the machine, they could come up to reception and say, "Oh, can I have, uh, yeah, game X?" Grab an NSC card for it and swipe it, and away you go. Let that run through just to prove it's all it's all working end to end. It also works with the um, with the, with the, with the Dragon Minded on screen menu as well. So if you wanted a menu reset and you haven't got any other, there's no buttons or anything that you can plug into, you can just write you can write one of these cards for the menu, 
as an option and then swipe that and that would then get you back to the um, game selection menu. Uh, and that's that, just a quick little quick update with a bit of thing I've just been working on the past couple of days uh, in response to that, that pretty cool use of NFC I saw on, I saw on Twitter. Right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.